Hey guys, this is Flick14. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to get Game Boy games, also Game Boy Color games, onto your Blackberry Storm so you can play them. The uh, reason I'm making this video is because I didn't see any other videos on YouTube that showed you guys how. And actually, there's not even really very many forms about it. So. I was just going to show you guys how to do it. Um, I guess we can go ahead and get started. What you want to do is start up your browser, either Firefox or Internet Explorer, or whatever you have. My computer's running really slow right now because I got the capture in the background, sorry. Really slow. Alright, now that you got that, you want to go to Google and you want to type in me boy and have your computer lag. There we go. It's just M E B O Y and search it. And it's the first one you get. And this is what you're going to use to do it. You go to over here to download. And then you want to download Me Boy Builder J A R right here. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it. And also about this, you have to have the latest Java. So if you don't have the latest Java, you can go ahead and download that. Just type in Java, and it's this one right here, the second one, and just free download and save that to your desktop and then just install it alright well if you if you already did have latest java and you didn't have to do that you'll have this right here which is me boy builder it just came up as me boy builder but I put 2.2 because that's the version it is um, you want to double click that It's been really slow. Alright. And then, okay, for this, you're going to have to have ROMs. Alright. And in case you don't know what ROMs are, they're pretty much just the. It's just the file. I guess you say like a video game. I don't know. ROMs are really hard to explain. But, anyways, you need the ROMs. Um, to find ROMs, you can search like Game Boy. ROMs. And you can get plenty. I see I've already been to one. Um things about Game Boy ROMs, if you do get a Game Boy ROM that you don't own, it pretty much is stealing. So only get games that you own. Like me, I got Final Fantasy Legend. I own all three of them. But yeah. Alright, well once you do that, you'll probably download it as a zip file and then you gotta extract the zip file and after you exact extract the zip file you gotta go to add game and find where it's at Let's see mine is where's where is it at there hold on there it is Final Fantasy Legend and see, I've already extracted them. If you didn't extract them, it'll say point, uh, .zip, which is a zip file, so you need to extract it before you do. And here is Final Fantasy Legend. And if I want to add another game, right there. And the thing about this is you cannot add ROMs just whenever you want. You All the games that you put on here are the games that you have to stay with. So, if you want to keep adding games, you're not going to be able to because Blackberry doesn't allow that. It has to be all in this file. So, if you want to install more games, you have to delete the one that you installed on your Blackberry and then put it, um, lost my train of thought, and then make uh, a new one of the, one of these. The, out of the Me Boy Builder with the new files in it and install that. 
All right, but once you've done that, you want to go to this can be left at large, and then you want to go to create me boy dot jar, and I just like to have stuff on my desktop, so I just went to desktop and leave it as me boy dot jar, and save it. And it's just saying that some phones don't read the JAR file. The BlackBerry Storm does, though, so you don't have to worry about that. And then go ahead and close out of this. Um, this is your JAR file right here, and this is your JAD. You can go ahead and get rid of this. This is the one you need. Alright. Alright, sorry. I had to pause the video to connect my BlackBerry Storm. Alright. Um, you. C I don't use Desktop Manager because I really don't like it, and I found find it a lot easier just to do it going into my computer and all that. So, to access the card from my computer, you do have to have Media Manager. See right down here. You have to have that open in the background, otherwise this won't appear. So you. To access the cards from here, you have to have Media Manager open in the background. I don't know why. But for some reason, it opens up the cards. Uh, I don't know. Alright, but once that is open, go ahead and just double click that. Go to Blackberry. And you can see right there, I already have it there. See? But if you don't, you just want to click this and then drag it in here. Just like that. And it'll go almost instantly. And that's really it, and I'm going to go ahead and transfer over to my BlackBerry now, so I'll show you how to install it. One thing really quick before I transfer over to my BlackBerry Storm. After you download the Java file to get the latest Java, Java excuse me, you do have to install it, the latest Java on your phone also. So to do that, just click on Application Loader. And I don't have to do it, but... I mean it's not coming up but when you do after you install, install Java it'll come up saying like installing updates right right here and it'll install Java VM which is what you need for it that's it um, let me transfer it to a Blackberry now